Ah, uh, that check means one thing. It's the Lex Brody's Thank You Very Much Award. And Scott Williams is our president, general manager. Scott, all our awards are special, but this one's just got a little extra to it. Uh, you're right, Tiny. Th this one was very um, inspirational, and it's just a great example for the rest of us on how to be appreciative of everything in our lives. Just always have a spirit of appreciation. Uh, the letter is written to our uh, student, Kayla, here at Eva Mackay Middle School. But uh, we're actually going to speak to her, her current teacher now, Mr. Muir, right? Yes. Hi. Yeah. Well, how is it uh, for you coming to school and get to work with all these students? And uh, Kayla's a special one. Um, you know, uh, I, I see Kayla every day. and. Uh, Kayla faces challenges in life, but she never fails to bring a smile with her every day to school. And to have someone full of life and full of energy at our, in, our, in our classrooms is something that we really appreciate. And uh, we're really glad that we had this opportunity to uh, acknowledge her for that. As Mr. Miura was discussing, um, Kayla is overcoming cerebral palsy. Um, and again, she's such an inspiration to all of us. Uh, she actually wrote the letter to her elementary school teacher. She wrote a letter to her uh, teacher who uh, helped her in, through third grade to sixth grade. Right, so we'll get her to read that letter for us right now at our big assembly at Eva Mackay. So we're going to bring up our winner, and her name is Kayla Lorraine Laura. Would you please come up? <laughs> What's up, camera guy? <laughs> okay, dear Ms. Marquardt, for all I thank you for all that you've done for teaching me thir from third grade to sixth grade. You helped me learn my multiplication table and show me how to do right in cursive. You never failed to encourage me by telling me good job and that you're doing well and getting better at it. You, keep, you, you helped me through rough times, like when I had my surgery in fourth grade, to loosen my muscle be, behind my leg. I was afraid of other people teasing me because I have a disability and I don't want anyone to know to think that I'm not like them even though I have I was scared and shy in school you you helped me not to be scared you told me try not to hide from other people and to be a to go out and play. Oh. You, you encourage me to do my best to live my dream and to not to be scared because no one is perfect. You praised me for being helpful in class and walked with me with all, well with others. I work with me with, with, well with others. You walked with me in the back of the line and helped me get up when I w fell down. Uh, even though I, I needed a lot of your help, your hard work really paid off because I learned not to be scared and to be confident about myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped in a box trying to get out. It's like I'm not open yet, but when I'm, when I remember your words of encouragement, I feel like the box is opening and I, I can stand up for myself. I will see you again someday in the future. Maybe I can visit you when I'm a college student. I will miss you and thank you. Um, and the other teachers at Elva Elementary, thank you so much. Sincerely, Kayla Lorraine Laura. Okay, right in the middle is our recipient, but uh, let's ask Dad here. Dad, uh, 
I mean, did you ever think your daughter could write words like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, she did it on her own, and I'm happy. She asked a couple questions, how to spell it and whatnot, but I didn't know she actually wrote a letter for Mrs. McCourt. Yeah. I heard a mention in the letter about surgery. And for those who might not know the story, maybe let's ask the mom about that. Mom, what about the surgery? Kayla was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at the age of 18 months. And as she got older, the muscles in her leg t tend to tighten up more, where she couldn't actually straighten out her leg. It was more um, just going straight out. So what her doctor at Shriners did was went into the back of her right leg, the back muscle, and cut it open, loosened the muscle, and then did surgery on that. But one thing good about Kayla when she did the surgery was she hardly took any meds. Teach. Let's find out about you because you had, uh, you know, a lot to do with that letter and, and the surgery and, and her fears. Tell us your thoughts. Well, I'm so proud of you, Kayla. She, she has come a long way and because of also her disability, she knew that this would be, have been a challenge for her. But because she has such loving and supportive parents and a lot of supporting teachers back at EVA Elementary, she knew that she could do it. it. She knew it was going to be a challenge, but she, got, she has so much people backing her up, supporting her. And it made her stronger, too, because we encourage her to believe in herself. Because it's only her, no one else, that could get her through life, especially when she becomes an adult. And like I said, thanks to the teachers and staff at EVA, her incredible parents, and especially Miss Kayla, that she was able to, you know, get through all her difficulties, her challenges, and here she is today. From, From Eva Mackay Middle, Middle School, School we, we say... Eva Mackay Middle School. Oh, man. Did you see the campus? We didn't even take you for a tour. But... It's like a college school or something. And they got recycle bins and H5 signs, all that. They're very environmentally conscious. And so for that, not only do they have the Thank You Very Much Award, but another special thing. Jack Johnson is here for a special presentation. He's warming up with Paula Funga right now. We're going to have a little cameo here on Tiny TV, a little uh, unplugged. But also, we want to mention to the school, congratulations, and to all the schools, you can be like them, just like them. They got like awards. We can show you some the recipients right here where they are one of like 31 schools in the country to be given a green ribbon award, meaning they're one of the top schools to recycle and, and know what's going on and they're doing something about the Aina. So for that, Jack Johnson is here. He could pop up at your school, you never know. But right now, congratulations to Eva Mackay Middle School. You guys earned it. So much better when we're together. Ooh, so much better when we're together. Well, look at them stars when we're together. Mm, so much better when we're together. Yeah, so much better when we're together. Hey. Wow. Congratulations. You can talk and play at the same time? Sometimes. <laughs> if I'm lucky. Jack Johnson, Paula Funga. And a special award. They get to come uh, get an appearance from you guys, yeah? Yeah. And uh, it's anything with the environment. You're very supportive, uh, Jack, and we appreciate that. Oh, why, yeah, my pleasure. Why do you stick around and just pop up at schools like this? <laughs> well, I went to school in Hawaii, so it's good fun. Uh, good fun just to show up and be able to play for the kids. I remember when um, when people used to come. I remember Famous Amos came and spoke at my elementary school. <laughs> that always stuck with me. Or when the Buya tribe came to my high school, Kahuku High School, and played for us. Too rough international Buya Empire. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, I, I hear sometimes you'll pop up at Kahuku or other schools and just play for them. Yeah, yeah, whenever I can. It's, uh, it's good fun. And, you know, especially like today at Eva Makai, they're getting 
uh, you know, recognized for, for being one of the Green Ribbon schools, and that's a pretty big deal. Only two schools in Hawaii made that. Uh, yeah, out of 78 in the nation, so oh, that's pretty facts. cool. 72, 78? 78. Well, I think you're going to be wanted on stage soon, but thanks for the little uh, cameo here on Tiny TV, guys. My pleasure. Yeah. All right. Hey, Taylor, good job editing Tiny TV. Oh, he's a big fan. <laughs> thanks, Jack. <laughs>